the reason of it was I was expecting my third base to go up and to be able to simply like instantly remax with it, like instantly um, saturate it. There yeah. we go. That's the word. Um, so that's the thought process there. All right. Um, you know, if I can do that, then I'm I'm pretty set. Like I having this fourth up, so I can you know make even a few more if I want to. Uh, it's it's not going to be a huge issue. Cool. Now this uh this hallucinated phoenix is just parked over your army. It's yep. really annoying to me. What, do you, do you not plan? You're just gonna let it sit there, and see everything. Um, pretty much. I did send the queen after it. Ah. Uh, I see. <laughs> I did send a queen after missed it. Missed that so. part. Missed that part in the in the massive chef chef APM. <laughs> uh, this is something I've been trying to work on. Oh, I wish you would do it. Okay, I'm. Mm, we're gonna try it. Uh oh. It's not gonna work, but I always wanted to do that. I right, moved away. Uh, Come on. Uh, Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> we go the wrong way. We're going the wrong way, Rich. Well, he didn't have an observer, so that's good news. Yeah, at least he didn't just go out and fight and kill them all. <laughs> That'd been awesome. Is that claw size one volley, all dead? <laughs> Your definition of awesome is slightly different than mine. <laughs> all right, now we're loading up the banes. Yep. So I think that's pretty awesome. Oh, never mind. We'll talk about this after. It looks like something's about to happen. Is it? Is it? Are you sure? I don't know. I doubt it. He can't really be aggressive here. At least I don't see how he can be. Alright. Um. Yeah. So anyway, funny. something that I think is pretty awesome is at MLG Dallas. I was talking to Rhett. And he kind of he kind of uh, foretold this style developing that you're showing us right now. He said the future of this matchup is Roachling and Fester with Baneling drops. And I was like, yep. really? How do you figure? He said, just trust me. That's how it is. Mm-hmm. Rhett's a smart man. He is indeed. Mineral field depleted. Our forces are under attack. Um, and then at this point, you know, it's. It's really just uh, no point in going to that. That's, uh, that's something that so many other Zerg players would not be able to catch because it's not so common to have an overseer with our army. Yeah. For example, I would have smashed 30 Banelings into that. <laughs> yep, I know what you mean. I know the feeling. I've done it too. I got it versus... Uh, Huck and MLG. I will never do it again. <laughs> put, put that simply. That will never happen again because of that. Huck likes his hallucinations. Mm -hmm. Oh, plus two on those bangers. Oh, yeah. Nothing like it. This is just going to be a Nexus snipe? Um, can be. Like, it's, there's no reason for it. Like, it's, If that's what he's given me, then sure. This is just about the limit of it, though. You know, now you have this, this huge ability to remax again. Yeah, and uh, and he's in a he's in a rough spot. Yep, pretty much. And GG. GG. All right, man. You know, Rich is awesome, but I feel like you're just running through him. Uh, I'm gonna ask him if he wants to play more. And I might <clears throat> pick up another player. Whatever you'd like, my friend. Whatever you'd like. Because I do not want to see uh, my buddy have his uh, heart completely broken. All right, uh, he's he's down. He says he's gonna get revenge. He's gonna smash you to, to bits. And uh, and things of that nature. So we're gonna go to Shkoris.
Okay. This is the new ladder version of Shakuras. Not quite as Protoss favored as the former. Yep. Uh, Shakuras. Yep. Uh, but still a pretty uh, fun, good map. Actually, I like this version of Shakuras a lot. It's, it's a great map. I do too, quite honestly. So what I'm what I'm picking up on in your play mm -hmm. is uh, is is the secret to success as as Zerg is infinity drones. <laughs> That's that's part of the secret for sure. Um, it's not so much even Infinity Drones as knowing what he's doing, like having that scouting information, and then making a composition that can deal with pretty much anything that Protoss uses, at least somewhat, which is also known as not maxing on roaches. Right. Um, <laughs> and finding good places to engage. That's okay. about it. Uh, how how do you stand up against six gate, seven gate, the super aggressive gateway builds? Um. You know, in that case, I might have went for uh, roaches. I would have just thrown in a bunch of lings. Um, I had three hatches. You know, you can produce quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty nice in that case. And just, you know, you go from there. All right. Well, we'll see. I, I know that sooner or later, Rich is going to bust, bust out a six gate. And I'm just waiting for it. Because I'm really curious to see if you if you can hold it and how you, how you pull it off. <laughs> Fine with me. Fine with me. I generally go a lot of the times for Roach with uh, Tunneling Claws first and Burrow, so it's one way that I, I would for sure hold it off. Yeah, that's one of the good ways. I, actually, I talk to uh, a couple of Zerg players these days who start to say that uh, if you scout 6 gate or 7 gate or something crazy like that, then go in double Roach Warren and getting both upgrades at once is a great way to end the game outright. Something you've played with at all? No, I don't think it's that viable. Yeah. I'd rather have like three more spine crawlers okay. uh, than speed. Like, just give me tunneling claws. I don't need to chase them all the way back. You just need to survive. I'll just take. Yep. I'll take surviving, and I'll I'll take uh, a few extra spine crawlers just to be safe. All right. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Getting two roach horns. If you if you're actually going for like aggressive <laughs> burrow, then yeah, that'll work awesome. Like if you if you like you said yeah if you want to go for an outright win and you're like oh he's gonna six gate me I'm gonna go for right away two roach horn as fast as can, I can possibly get double upgraded roaches you're gonna stomp it so that works really well but. Okay. I don't know, how often are you going to guess that, and how often are you going to waste a lot of minerals? All right, cool. I, I always thought I thought it was a really novel idea because it reminded me of uh, Mondragon's play in Brood War, where he would go yeah. double Hydroden off of Hatchery Tech and all in. Yep. Ah, oh, Mondragon days. Those were good days. Yeah, he was so he was so fun to watch. So fun to watch. Yep. Really nice guy. He got angry with me one time. No. But okay. Oh yeah. How could anybody get angry with Chef? Uh, it was it was possible in Brood War days. I assure <laughs> you, it was possible. <laughs> I thought people only got mad at G5. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the other way around. G5 just got mad at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was how that one went for sure. Oh man. If you didn't have G5 mad at you at least at one point in Brood War career, like you're doing it wrong. You you have not earned that badge of pride. <laughs> <laughs> G5. He's a really nice guy, though. Like, he just he goes through weird, like, I'm going to kill you stages, but he knows it, so it's okay. Oh, is this the MLG version? Uh, Wait, no, no this is the ladder map. Okay. Which, actually, the new MLG is the ladder <clears> map, so I should... Is it really? Yeah, they, they changed it for Columbus. All right, cool. Sweet. Um, did they, by any chance, happen to make... The Taldarim altar without the abuse the heck out of it. Without the what? Um, like, did you see Boxer versus um, Zenio in NASL? With no, I didn't. All right. Um, basically, bo there's like two little towers in between, like where your bases are. Right. In that Taldarim altar map, and wow, oh, ring for uh, cannon. Dirty. Nah, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Anyway, um, so yeah, just a bunch of, uh, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, Boxer he puts marines on these pillars, and like these pillars can shoot like down from above. Oh, and, like, nasty. I didn't know you could drop on those. Oh yeah, it's it's horrible, dude. Like, you can put like eight marines on each pillar, and they just like rapid shoot, because <laughs> they're kind of frozen in, in space with it. That's hilarious. I have got to go watch those games. Oh yeah, it was it was definitely novel if nothing else. Boxer always does that stuff, man. Oh yeah. I remember the first time he put tanks on the above the watchtowers on Zanaga Caverns. Everybody was freaking out. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, that makes yep. so much sense." 
You can do that? <laughs> That's legal? Yes. Sadly. So anyway, right here I actually feel like I'm, again, kind of far ahead. Um, just because, like... Just because of the cannon. Yeah. But his next like is done, it. man. Eh. About to have a third one, a third uh, unit up, and I have speedlings, which are controlling at least some of the map. If he doesn't have a full wall off here, I'm going in. Oh, I'm going in. I think it's gonna die. Ah! All right, so definitely worth that. Really? Oh yeah. Eightlings for a cyber core cancel. I'll take it. Okay. Look at his probes, like. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's paying for itself. Oh, yeah, I love it. Got the chef zergling. Oh, yeah. One zergling. Now, if this was Brood War, that zergling would kill that Nexus. It still will kill that Nexus. <laughs> Just give it time. Just give it time. My zerglings kill Nexus I. Nexus I? I don't know. <laughs> Combination. Like, everything. But yeah, it's, it's not going to do much damage. But either way, it's going to give me a good scouting information. And again, notice like he's thrown down that second... Uh... Oops, why are my drones running that way? That second uh, cannon, just like to be a little bit safe. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that, by any means, on his play. Alright, so... Uh, and you are taking a really fast third base. I, I'm, I'm curious about your decision to put it where you did. Uh, do you not feel like that third is just right in the path of his army if it comes in attacks? Um, partly, but it's, it's close enough to me. I like it just in this sort of situation where I know I'm going to have time to max up and get a pretty large army. Like, if he does some sort of six gate, or not six gate, obviously, um, like, just early pressure, like a six gate. Yeah, I guess a six gate. Either way, I'd be able to see it, like, right now because of this ling. Like, yeah, that ling is a he's, hero, man. He's in there, man. He's, he's giving me my intel. He's my sacrificial overlord ling. You weren't, you weren't kidding when you said it was worth it. <laughs> no. This is... It's kind of like standard lings for me as well. If I can get one in your base, you better make a stalker to kill it. Better build your tech outside of the base. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, so I see your layer starting. Um, it's still sitting on just one gas. You've seen a couple gateways. Uh, not really getting any read on what he's doing, but at the same time, he's probably not going to show you what he's doing. Yeah, he's kind of showing me with the delay that he has there, though. Um, Maybe he's like, got something in store. Yep. There's a fourth gate right there. So I'm expecting something like, like you said, like a fifth, five, six gate, just pressure. All right. Um, honestly. And now that's one of the that's one of the natural transitions out of a fast expand. I find I think Stargate and six or seven gate are probably the most common follow-ups to uh, Nexus first. Um, um, Starport is like number one at the moment for me. Yeah. That's pretty darn common for me at least to deal with lately, as of late. Alright. And you said you're feeling like it's going to be gateway pressure? Oh yeah. If I had a, if I had a guess, that's, that's what it's going to be right here. I didn't see anything else fishy. Alright. So... that plus one timing. And just like you said, you're getting tunnel first, you're getting burrow, you've got plus one on the way. And I see that you've stopped droning and you're starting to add... Oh, no, I lied. You're still, I was. You're still droning. I did. Like, if he was going right at that moment, I would have been had a few extra units. But he still hasn't killed... I thought he'd killed that next... Or that, uh... Forge, that gateway, gateway. Something. Cannon, cyber core. Exactly. Pylon. I thought, I thought he'd killed that X unit. That thing. Mm-hmm. Still adding drones. Oh man! And now you see him moving. So I gotta feel like these drones are gonna have you have us in trouble. No. I'm okay with it. Ah, but that's so much stuff. Yeah. Cancel my fourth. It it is somewhat troublesome for sure. No quid. Nice. Like now, it's trouble for sure. Burrow, chef. Yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff.
Oh dear. <laughs>